Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving deep into a very important aspect of web development in Angular. Managing images. We will cover everything from adding static and dynamic images to making them responsive and optimizing their performance. So whether you are a newbie or a pro, there is something for everyone in this tutorial. Let's get started. Before we start, make sure you have a basic understanding of HTML, CSS and Angular, a working Angular environment setup and a few images to use for practice. There are few ways we can add images to our Angular project. Locally, where the image file is in the project folder and externally, where the image is on external server or a CDN. So to add a local image, place it inside the assets folder for your project. This is Angular's standard location of static files. Here is how you can use an image named example.jpg from the assets folder. So this is my simplest Angular project with the hello world text in it. And I am using Angular 14 right now. So first of all, I will download an image from internet. So let's suppose I want to download this image on it and save it. So now I will drag and drop this image in my assets folder. But before that, I will create another folder called images. And now I will find the image that we just downloaded and we will drag it in the images folder now I will name it example.jpg and now this is how you can add an image in your HTML of your component so type image tag source assert slash images slash example dot jpg okay, now let's see you can see that image has been added so i will control the width by using the width attribute and other than that there is another way to specify the path of the image so here you can see that we are using uh, an absolute path but uh, you can also specify the relative path as well so for example you can use dot dot slash and find the folder that you want to specify and use it so this will also work you can see but i would personally prefer the absolute path because with this approach uh, if you change the location of your code if you move or copy your code in some other folder and some other HTML file then you will not have to make changes in your path this would stay same for all of the nested folders as well so that is the benefit of this approach now for external images you simply use the URL of the image as the source attribute so for that let us get a live URL for example I will get it from here right click on it and copy image address and now here I will paste the live URL of the image and if you see the image is still being loaded remember always include an alt attribute with your images it provides alternative text for an image if it cannot be displayed and is crucial for accessibility so let's do that as well and alt the image description now let's talk about dynamic images handling angular allows us to bind the source attribute to a variable in the component if you have a variable called image url here is how you can display an image using this variable so in the app.component i am going to create a new variable that would be image url and we will give it 
the image path so for example I will remove it and we will save this path in the image URL now in your component after you have added you can simply uh, wrap the source attribute in square brackets so here in the double quote you have to specify the variable that you just have defined in your app component in this way it will access that variable and it will show the image from there now on to responsive images you can use CSS to control the display of your images but angular also provides a powerful directives for this such as ng style and ng class and this ng style allows you to set CSS styles dynamically for example you can control the width of an image like this so I will remove the width attribute from here and instead of that I will add ng style and in the bracket uh, in the double quote you will have to specify uh, give it an object and in that you will have to pass the styles so I want to specify the width so add single quote width dot pixels so as we want to specify width in the pixel so that's why i added pixel here and now add the value okay after that you can get this uh, value for the width from the component as well for example image width will be 800 and save it here Now you can see that you can simply control the width from your component ts file and you can change it and it will be updated automatically ng class allows you to apply a css class based on expression if you have a css class that makes an image responsive you can apply it conditionally like this so first of all we will define a variable is responsive is equal to true and now you can use this uh, variable to use your condition in the ng style i will get rid of ng style i will instead use the ng class because we want to add a class conditionally and here i will define my class name uh, my class name would be responsive and i want to add this class conditionally if is responsive is true so if this is true then it will automatically add this class on my image tag and uh, first of all I will show you that if this class is being added or not so you can see that a responsive class has been added on my image tag and if you set it false then the responsive class has been removed so i will keep it and we will make it responsive <coughs> with the help of the css so right now you can see there is a scroll that means it is not behaving responsively so in the class i will use the responsive in the css i will use the responsive class and i will use width is equal to 100 percent that means it will never go beyond the parent width so now you can see there is no scroll if you even <coughs> decrease the width of your browser then image will adjust its dimensions automatically but in the ts if you make it is responsive false then you will see that it is not responsive anymore and there is a scroll lastly let's talk about optimizing image loading performance large image files can show can slow down your app but there are few strategies to mitigate this first compress your images before adding them to your project there are many online tools that can do this without reducing the image quality significantly use the loading attribute with the value uh, lazy on your image tag this tells the browser to defer loading 
the image until it reaches the calculated distance from the viewport so for example in the HTML in the image tag I will add loading and la lazy so this would optimize your website for the images all right that that's all for today's tutorial we have covered a lot of ground from adding static and dynamic images to making them responsive and optimizing their load times remember managing images effectively is the key skill in web development and the more you practice the more comfortable you will become as always if you have any questions drop them in comment section below and we will be happy to help Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth coding tutorials.